who are Slavs? Slavs are the largest Indo-European ethnolinguistic group in Europe with roughly 360 million people. They share, to varying degrees, cultural traits, similar language and historical backgrounds. If you truly want to understand who Slavic people really are, we need to take a look into the history. Slavs were first mentioned under the name of Antes and Sklaveni in Byzantine records in the early 6th century. The word Antes was used to describe an early Slavic tribes in the lower Danube and northwestern Black Sea. The word Sklaveni was used for an early South Slavic tribes that invaded and settled the Balkans in the early Middle Ages. Therefore, we can say Slavs were emerging from the area of the Carpathian Mountains, the lower Danube and the Black Sea. First description of Slavs written by Procopius in 545 was that both Slaveni and the Antans once had a single name, Sporoi. Procopius stated that the Slaveni and Antans once spoke the same language, but he did not trace their common origin back to Vistula Veneti tribe that are suspected as the ancestors of some or all today Slavs. Procopius described Slavs as barbarians who lived under democracy and believed in one god, the maker of lightning, Perun. He stated Slavs constantly changed settlements and were mainly foot soldiers with small shields, javelins and lightly clothes. He described in his words the two tribes in not the fur in appearance, being tall and robust, neither very fair or blonde nor indeed dark type. The Slavs emerged from obscurity when the West World movement of Germans in the 5th and 6th century started the great migration of Slavs who settled the lands embedded by Germanic tribes fleeing the Huns and their allies. Around the 6th century, Slavs appeared on Byzantine borders in great numbers. The Byzantine records note that grass would not regrow in places where the Slavs had marched through, so great were they. Their numbers. After a military movement, even the Peloponnese and Asia Minor were reported to have Slavic settlements. This southern movement has traditionally been seen as an invasive expansion. By the end of the 6th century, Slavs had settled the Eastern Alps region. When migration ended, first Slavic regiments of state organization started to evolve. In the 7th century, the Frankish merchant Samo, who supported the Slavs fighting Avars, became the ruler of the first known Slav state in Central Europe, stretching from Silesia to present-day Slovenia. This provided foundation for the creation of other Slavic states, with Carantania being the oldest one of them, following Principality of Nitra and the Moravian Principality. In this period, there existed central Slavic groups and states such as Balatio and Principality, however, the expansion of Magyars and Germanization of Austria separated the northern and southern Slavs. The first Bulgarian Empire that was founded in 681 and the Slavic language or Church Slavonic became the main and official till its end in 864. Bulgaria was vital in the spread of Slavic literacy and Christianity to the rest of the Slavic world. Many decades later, specifically in 1878, there were there only three Slavic states in the world, the Russian Empire, Serbia and Montenegro. In the entire Austro-Hungarian Empire, around 46% of the population were Slavic. Due to lesser rights than Austrians and Hungarians, Slavics were calling for national self-determination. In the 19th century, Pan-Slavism developed as a movement, but it rarely influenced practical politics and did not find support in some Slavic nations due to association with Russian imperialism. During World War I, representatives of Czechs, Slovaks, Poles, Serbs, Croats and Slovenes set up organizations in allied countries to gain sympathy and recognition. After World War I, Slavs established independent states of Czechoslovakia, the Second Polish Republic and the state of Slovenes, Croats and Serbs. Today there are 13 Slavic countries, geographically divided in three groups – South Slavs, West Slavs and East Slavs. Slovenia, Croatia, Serbia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro, Macedonia and Bulgaria being representatives of South Slavs, Poland, Czechia and Slovakia being representatives of West Slavs, and Ukraine, Belarus and Russia being representatives of East Slavs. Slavic languages are to some degree very similar. This is because Proto-Slavic language split into multiple Slavic languages relatively recently. This video came to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like and if you have any requests or idea about any other Slavic related video, post it in the comment. Thanks for watching.